Welcome to Tazzy. I'm Tyrone. Like your shoelaces, you're Tyrone. And this is Mount Nelson. Mount Nelson is a pretty cute little place. I like it. I like it a lot. It's close to Hobart, close to Kingston, close to plenty of things. Very conveniently placed in Hobart. More than that, right up the top is a signal station. This has a brilliant view over the Derwent, a cute little cafe, and looking across the Derwent River, you can see the city of Hobart, how it's perched on the edge. Here, you're looking over at South Arm. When you're further down, you can look across and see Bruny Island. Over the back, you can see the faint shadow of the Tasman Peninsula. Unfortunately, it's nowhere near Nelson Falls. Today's adventure takes me from Mount Nelson all the way across the centre of Tassie out west to about 20 clicks before Queenstown to the Nelson Falls Nature Trail. Nice cute little walk and the ride in's pretty pretty decent as well when you don't get stuck behind anyone. Getting to Nelson Falls from Mount Nelson takes you most of the way across the state. As said in previous videos, there's one main road to get out west from Hobart, which is the Lyle Highway. And as said in previous videos, much of Tasmania's centre is mountains. So there's plenty of mountain passes. The ride we're watching now is through the Surprise Valley. I wasn't expecting it either. This is one of the slower sections because there's plenty of corners. On more than one occasion I've come through here, come around one of the blind corners and nearly run into the back of a parked car, parked bang smack in the middle of the road over the double white lines. Now I know what you're thinking. Who would be so stupid as to park their car in the middle of the road around a blind corner? Well I'm glad you asked me that. Because I can tell you that answer. Tourists. The reason it was so pertinent for them to park their car, switch off the engine and get out is because there was a dead wallaby on the side of the road that they needed to take pictures of. That's right, on more than one occasion there has been a car parked behind one of these blind corners so that the drivers can take a photo of roadkill. This is an absolutely brilliant road until you come across someone who's doing heaps under the speed limit or, unlike today, someone parked in the middle of the road. There are certain kinds of people who I don't like being anywhere near on the road. You can generally tell by the vehicle they drive, you can generally tell by the speed they go, but more importantly, you can tell the sort of driver someone is by where they choose to position themselves on the road. I was quite happy with how this guy was driving. To me, it looked very predictable. His braking points for, the, for what he was driving and where he was on the road told me he knows his vehicle. That being said, he was also doing about 15 under the speed limit, which I don't like. So, bye bye. I know it looks like I was only on the road for about five minutes, but it was a lot longer than that. And there were a few other stops on the way. This is the car park at Nelson Falls. While it is only 700 meters one way or 20 minutes return, that's long enough to sweat. So if you're wearing plenty of bike gear, or non-breathable clothing, it's, it's worth taking it off. 
Hydrate, feed on the way. It's not a difficult walk, it's not coming back up. If you had a time machine, what would you find here in the past? The ever pertinent questions of time travel. Where did they come up with such an original machine for time travel? This is the path into Nelson Forest. You're greeted by the sound of softly flowing water. The serenity of the greenery. Even a few fish swimming in the river. Not big, and you're not allowed to catch them, but there's a few there. Hello, fishy friend. The smell through here isn't like dank compost. It is foresty, but it's not bad. And as is typical of the Tasmanian landscape, whenever it starts to get wet, ferns just spring up and grow. These aren't the biggest ferns out there, but they are quite reasonably large. After the easy boardwalk of about 700 metres, you are greeted by people squatting, because apparently that's how you take a photo, whether it be of roadkill or of waterfalls. Isn't she lovely? This does not make it look anywhere near as large as it is. In fact, these pictures make it look quite small, like it's only double my size to the top. That is an optical illusion wizardry. It's at least three times that size. And then the soft, easy, casual 700 metre walk back. That was Nelson Falls earlier in the summer. The good thing about this is I've got all of Nelson Falls on video, which means you don't need to go there. We can bulldoze the car park, rip up the track and close it to the public because I have completed the walk and uploaded it for your viewing pleasure. You're welcome. Then gear up, back on the road, back on the road to Queenstown. This road is some of the best road in the world. And I'm stuck behind a tourist fort.